Does it take a long time, this editing process? I don't know. Did he come to bed? I don't know. What's it called? Or oh, don't you know? Oh, the book. Sunday afternoon. Oh. You were conceived on a Sunday afternoon. The seven-year itch was on at the picture house, and we'd seen it three times. Besides, your dad had another itch he needed to scratch. Has he had a wash? I don't, I don't know. know. Does, uh, well, does anybody mind? If... No, go on. Yeah, but it is your place of work. Yes, but we're not working, are we? This is your home. No, but if Steve comes... Liz, in. will you just light up the fag and get on with the gossip? Yeah. There ain't any gossip. If Steve's got a problem, I should just say that I've spontaneously human combusted <laughs> <laughs> with a nicotine twinge. They do taste so much better indoors. Look, come on, tell us what's happened. I mean, I'm on tenterhooks here. I can't bring myself to say. Well, Summit's given you a face like a yard of gravy, and that's not a good look. No. We went back to Harry's. <gasps> did you do the deed? Oh, was it awful? Oh, I hate it when that happens. No, we did not. Is, is that why you're so upset? Was he not giving out? I have never been so humiliated in all my life. Oh. We're there. Doing what two consenting adults do behind closed doors. It depends on who's consenting, love. <laughs> We're only kissing. Oh. Then, she walks out from the bedroom. Who? It's X. <gasps> All dolled up in a little black dress. She'd cooked dinner for them both. <gasps> what was she doing there? I haven't a clue. What had she cooked? Don't ask me how we're out of there faster than you could see grease lightning. Why, why do you want to know what she cooked? Oh, well, I'd like to build up a bit of a picture in my mind, you know, yes. She looked rough. That's all you need to know. Oh. Which says a lot for me, doesn't it? And he's tasting women. Liz, had he been two timing you? No. What? Well, I don't know. Uh, how long has it been going on, love? Oh, well, he was with her for years. No! You and Cockney Bucky features. Well, this is the first time that anything's happened. He is meant to be divorcing her. Right. What? What, nothing? I mean, your word, lovey, this, it's gospel. <laughs> mm. So you haven't been seen him behind Vernon's back or anything like that? What do you take me for? Listen, if you're going to play with fire, you're going to get your fingers burnt. Ah, and this is it. Well, thanks very much for your support, guys. Ah, oh, I like Vernon, though, didn't you, love? You did not. You couldn't stand him. Well, I know. But you don't know what you've got until it's gone. <laughs> yeah, you see, you say what you like about Vernon, but he is very gay friendly. Mm. I can't believe I'm hearing this. Well, I'll tell you what, he's young, free, and single now, so you, Sean, you, Betty, if you fancy your chances, you know where he is. Blimey, I don't like him that much. Oh, no, Vernon won't touch him with yours. Oh, my God. <laughs> you are a weird one, I'll give you that. Harry, love, quick word of advice. When you've just spent the night with a woman, pay her a compliment rather than calling her weird. But if I'd known... Known what? Well, look, you were, like, you know, up for it. Don't be coarse. All right, you two. Hiya. All right. No, I mean, like, you and me. I know what you meant. I, I wouldn't have done anything with, um... Wurzel gummage in a microskirt? Yes. See you later. I love. I thought we was getting divorced. Oh, Harry. You know me so well, and yet you really don't know me at all, do you? I, you're scaring me. You really know how to make a girl happy. Listen, you and me, it could work. Just not here. Move back in with me. And that's a golfing jumper, is it? This is, yes, a golfing jumper. And it differs from a normal jumper in what way? Well, it has more of a, mm, well, pastel hue, so it makes it easier to spot on the green. But it doesn't ameliorate your game in any way? 
You know, is there really any need to use such pretentious words? This is a jumper. To be worn for golf. Ergo, it's a golfing jumper. Ergo. Right. Hey, imagine if you wore green, top and pants. Then you'd be like one big head wobbling about in midair. That'd be well random. <laughs> I'm off now. So, um, when are we moving into our new flat? Maybe you could take up a golfing theme and have AstroTurf in the hall. <laughs> and you could wear your special jumper at any hour of the day. This jumper will open doors. It's a magic jumper. And you're very facetious. Don't use pretentious words on me, Dad. See ya. Bye. <laughs> Connie, Ollie, Naughty, Tommy, eating Nelly's toffee sticks spells contents. You never forget how to spell the word contents, but you know that phrase. God, if you had, like, a really big spelling quiz, you'd win it, no problem. Oh, I love spelling me. I've never been intimidated by a lengthy lexicon. Kirk! Hello, oh, coming out! Kirk, I'm <clears throat> fine! Leave her alone, you big bully! I'll grow up, Kirk. Yeah, I can fight my own battles, thank you, Kirk. And anyway, this isn't a fight! That car's illegally parked! Oh, oh damn, Kirk, it's been about business. Isn't it? Women, mate, they speak a lot of sense. Look, can we just get in? You might, Kate. See you later. You won't. Kirk! Get in, Kirk. Right, then. Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Place in a bed? Deliberate. Fair enough. Just, uh, deliberate. Vernon? What's that for? I don't. That look. It's a pity. No, mate, I... Hey. I'm not your mate. <clears throat> Answer me one question. You and Liz, did you sleep with her when she was with me? Look, uh, should we go in the back? No, I, I can take it. I can. I, I just want to know the truth, even if it hurts. Because then I can get closure and I can move on. Nothing happened while she was with you. I certainly never slept with her. And if you must know, I still haven't. I'm not stupid, you know. I know you think I am. But I'm not. You hurt her, and you'll have me to deal with. Well, I can't imagine what all that was about. Yeah? Yeah? No, no, I can't shift breaded. No one wants it, too many carbs. Have you any of that honey glaze? Oh, really? Oh, that sounds lovely, Spike Love. Yeah, I can almost smell the cloves from here. <laughs> all right. I was over this after for a shifty. Tyrone, love. All right, Tyrone. Yeah. I'll put a smile on you, gritty, miserable chipmunk. <laughs> you and our Molly had a domestic. No, no, we're fine. So what is it? Is it me? Am I in the way? No. Look, if you must know, it's about this wedding. So you saying that every girl wants a big white one? We're skint. Do you know how much weddings cost? I do as it happens. I used to do a bit of cleaning at Big Day in a Big Way wedding planners in Batley Way, till they went pear-shaped for supplying a two-man tent instead of a disco marquee. Oof. Disorganised chaos, that's what it was. I'm just a big disappointment all round. Fancy Pam, what are you doing? You've got to speculate to accumulate. You won't, Dosh. I'm going to show you how to make something out to nothing. OK, OK. And what have you got to do? Phone the solicitor. And? Make an appointment to talk about cancelling the divorce, though I've got a feeling it ain't going to be that straightforward. Well, I'm sure you'll sort it, whereas I'll sort us a nice big removal van. All right. 
Claire. I'm sorry. No, it's... Uh... I had no idea that she was... It was just a bit of a shock, that's all. I'm sorry to have put you... I'm big enough and ugly enough, don't worry about me. You are not ugly. So, you and her are... Yeah, we're, um... Me and Vernon, we're always giving it a second try. <laughs> can't live with her, can't. I completely respect that. So you're, you're cool with her? Bad timing. But we can be... Oh, mates, yeah, of course. I respect you, Liz. Ta. I should. No, I mean, don't let me. I'll. Uh... Yeah, right. Take it easy. See you. Ah, thank you very much. My gout tends to flare up after the 18th hole. Gout. How the Kenzie, no? One of the downsides of living the rich life, my friend. Too much champagne, brandy, foie gras, hookers. <laughs> I'm joking about the hookers. <laughs> uh, I do love a bit of foie gras. Mm. Truffles. Oh, I adore truffles. Oh, I'm very partial to chocolate. Huh? Oh, funny. Chocolates. <laughs> Isn't that, uh, she's a big Bollywood um, uh, star. Isn't that, uh, that Nina Adani? Yes, that's... Uh... Oh, my God! You know, I saw Divided City like 88 times. You know the shot of her in the, uh, uh, the white sari in the waterfall? I had that poster on my wall! <laughs> uh, over here, darling. <laughs> Like, it isn't hard to spot the only two Asian faces in the room, but she's too vain to wear glasses. <sighs> Darling, <laughs> may I introduce my dear friend, oh, and your biggest fan from the sounds of it, Devendra Alahan. I've heard so much about you. <laughs> You're his wife? <laughs> Suffering's my speciality. Yes. Dave was just telling me that he saw Divided City eight, 80, 88. 88 times. Oh, really? <laughs> I used to love you. Oh, a man with exquisite taste, obviously. And uh, maybe a man who'd like to get me a snifter. Uh, what would you... Um... A double on the rocks? Yeah, of, uh... Anything, chop chop. He's uh, taller than I pictured him. Tallness is overrated. That's it! Keep going! Keep going and stop! That's what I say to all me both! <laughs> Finally. Stop moaning, big fella. I'd like to see you work up a sweat. Oh, oh yeah, what's going on here then? <sighs> Harry's seen sense. Oh what? He's getting rid of that vile table. He certainly has. Mm -hmm. No, he's moving back in with me. You joking? Well, what man wouldn't refuse a dollop of what I've got to offer? <laughs> Do you know what I fancy? Me? Mm. They say love is blind, but no. I fancy a farewell drink in the Rovers. Are you sure about that? Yeah. Leanne can take care of things here. Come on. If you've got it, flaunt it. Something long, cold, and wet. Huh. Oh, hi, Liz. You all right? Your usual, is it? Yes, get me as usual, Liz, love. You'd know what that is, you being a barmaid. Landlady. Common, a garden barmaid. I'm not common. No, you're deluded. <clears throat> now, make the most of this, Harry kid. Make sure you soak up the atmosphere of a down-at-heel boozer in the back end of nowhere. It's going to be very different from now on. Why? Well, he's moving back in with me. Cheshire. 
It's very different from round here. What, Mingin? Well, I'm much more at home at a wine bar. No offence. None taken. Nor am I offended by that very noisy blouse. <laughs> I'll be in a booth, Harry. But, Harry, no doubt you'll still be working round here. So you'll still be popping in? Do they still have tugboats in Weatherfield Canal? What? Well, I'm sure I heard a very loud foghorn just then. Oh, uh, before I forget... Uh... Oh, darling. You really shouldn't have to pay people to hang out with you. They've won the game. They've got twenty pounds. You're a man of my word. No, I can't. Take it. I have to visit the ladies' room. Might I say goodbye here? Well, I was very impressed by the gents earlier. They've got a, a, a row of art shows you can use for free. You don't have to pay for them, so I used half of them. <laughs> just to... <laughs> I'm sorry. My zany sense of humour. No, I like zany. <laughs> uh, Brim, your shoelace. She notices everything. Pleasure meeting you, sweetie. Oh. I hope to see you again soon. Oh, yeah. Put him down, Nina. Poor boy. One know if he's coming or going. Mm. Decisions, decisions. Mm. Ciao. Oh, I'll walk you to your car. Oh. What? Well, I wondered why you had such bad hands. Now I know. It's because you wash them with soap. Well, I like to keep mine rough, you know. Just so it really hurts when I slap ugly leeches right in the face. Hmm. They say, you know, you can tell a woman's age by her hands, but in your case, it's the face. I'd sack the surgeon. <laughs> uh, did you not want to use the loop? I did. But now I've seen the state of the place. I'll hang on till I get home. So how much do we get from down back of sofa? Uh, 89p. We're rich, rich beyond our wildest dreams. Look at that. Robbie Williams. <laughs> he must be good, isn't he? Hey, now come on, Tyrone. What have I told you? In order to accumulate, you've got to... Speculate. Come on. Really more than ever Know that we'll still have each other You can stand under my umbrella you can stand on my own. Oh, um, I'll turn it off. Nope. Don't touch it. I like this one. Woo! So you had a good time then? No, dear girl. I had a, I had a, I had a, I had a brilliant time. Have a 20. Have a 20. Everything okay? Yeah. Look, I, I know she can be a bit... <gasps> you right? Harry, how dare you? Pinching my bum. So how much did you go in with? 89p. And how much have you got now? £5.53, can you believe it? Yes, I can. The word entrepreneur became very soiled with the advent of Thatcherism. I'm reclaiming it, Tyrone, and I'm going to pass on my wisdom to you. Right. You give me five pounds, I shall make you ten. I'd have applied for the apprentice, but I'm too busy hustling. I'd have wiped the floor with that shower of show-offs. Anyway, come on, home. That's going straight in your penny jar. She's looking over. Ah, but is she? Because it's hard to tell with a lazy eye. She's not got a lazy eye. Aren't you? <laughs> You're terrible, Muriel. <laughs> <laughs> I'm keeping out of it. Do you know? I think I'll go collect some glasses. Live like a moth to the flame. Just because I'm a grafter. Hey, here. Do you think she's a natural redhead? I'll ask. Don't ask for proof. <laughs> oh, all right, Liz. Oh, I'm sorry. Didn't know it was fancy dress. 
is not. Oh, I assumed you'd come as a stripper. <laughs> <laughs> Better than Scylla Black on acid. <laughs> there is nothing wrong with Scylla. She's a Laura Laura fun. <laughs> Do you know, we were just talking about you, just wondering if you're a natural redder. Yeah, well, my red's about as natural as your dirty blonde. You should go to a salon and get it done, you know. It's much more effective than chucking on a cheap one at all. Yeah, well, at least mine doesn't look like I've taken it off, fried it in a pan and then chucked it back on again. Is this dead? Is now. Oh, look! Sorted out your split ends as well. Excuse me. Can you just hold them doors open for me? Here, get your chubby hands off me, lady! <laughs> chubby! Chubby, I'm not out of here, chubby! Perfect. You are right where you belong. And don't try and get back in, you're bad. Harry! Fake a ticket. Just like the rest of you. Don't stand still for too long, Liz. You might get done for soliciting. Harry! Tonight. Calling all the high street. Ladies size 16 and above deserve to look as gorgeous as everybody else. These retailers need educating. We're on a mission. Trini and Susanna undress the nation at nine. But next on ITV1, there's a twist in the tale in the bill, whilst over on ITV2, it's new homes from hell.